Hey YouTube, Opinionative Review here, and as you can see from the title in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create and install through OpenSSH your own animated boot logo. And as you can see from the beginning of the video, that I incorporated uh, about two of them that I created myself. This video shouldn't be too long. I'll try to make it as fast as possible. What you're gonna need for this is a photo, a photo editor. If you don't have a photo editor, I'll put a link in the description of a website you could use. You're gonna need a picture of a default Apple boot logo like this I have on the screen. I'll, I'll put that in the description also. You can download it. You're gonna need any picture of your choice. You're gonna need Win SCP for Windows or CyberDuck for Mac. And that's basically it. So let's get into the video. So I have my two photos here that, that I'm on. This is my photo I'm going to make. This is uh, the British Virgin Islands flag. If you didn't know, I'm British. I'm from the British Virgin Islands, though. And let's get in. Let's start it. So you're going to take this down. And we're going to take this and drag see, the selection tool and drag it over here. And I'm not a big pro in Photoshop, so if I make a mistake don't kill me for it and you just resize it if, it, if the photo doesn't drag over you could just click on it and go control A to select all and then drag it over because sometimes it doesn't drag it over so we're gonna minimize that and you just fix the photo to how you want it so just fix the photo to how you want it resize it and I think that's good and you click the check up there for OK. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna change the o opacity of the photo. So for you can change this to how many uh, increments you want. I'm gonna do increments of 10% to keep the video short. You can change it to 2%, 5%, whatever. But obviously it's more work and it's gonna be more photos. So let's change it. I'm gonna do this at 10%, and we're gonna go five. We're gonna, you can you can click file save as or you can just click control shift s to save it as and you're gonna you, you you create a folder as you can see I have my folder there you're gonna create a folder and I have my folder right here which says BVI flag boot logo you're gonna click it and you have you have to have this default template in here as zero and this doesn't really need to be in here don't worry about that so I'm gonna locate that same folder which is this one save the photo as a PNG file and I'm gonna name it one see this is zero so I'm gonna name it one and click OK now all you're gonna do is change the opacity percentage that's all you're gonna do um, as I said I'm doing it in increments of 10 so every time you change it you do you just save it you just save the photo and repeat that process until you get to 100 percent so we're gonna repeat this process make sure it's a PNG file and make sure you label them from zero up so it's gonna be zero straight up Let's change this again 30 percent control s control shift s we're gonna do PNG tree okay same thing again 40 percent control shift s save change it again to 4 And now we're at 100 percent. If you if you do if you do it by lesser increments, you're gonna have a longer animated boot logo. So if I did it by increments of five percent, I would have 20 pictures. I would have a longer animated boot logo. So now that we finished with this, 
you already finished. All you have to do is minimize your folder editor and locate the folder. So I had to log back into WinX, WinSCP again, and back to what we were talking about. So you're going to navigate to library, boot logos here, and all you're going to do is drag the boot logo that you just, the folder, the boot logo that you just created, and drop it in right here. That's all you need to do. So as I said, you don't even have to respring. Just go in your iPhone, go to your animated boot logos, and you're gonna see it right there as you as you see at the one I just created, the BVI animated boot logo, and I click it, and there you go. It's as simple as that, plain, quick, and simple. All you need is a simple photo editor. Uh, and everything I have down in the description, I'll put all the info down in the description. It's pretty simple. Tell me what you think. Rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.